Hi everyone, my name is Renji. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have next new topic for you. And this topic is about follow-up questions. Its main cue card is describe a tall building in your city you like or dislike. Now, let's start with the very first follow-up question that is what are the advantages or disadvantages of living in tall buildings? Talking about advantages of staying in high-rise buildings, they offer a spectacular view. Moreover, we get open space, plenty of facilities such as swimming pool, underground parking, workout area, to name a few. From the roof of the building, we can view the city, observe everything around. Besides higher floors, experience minimal noise, pollution. Talking about agar hum baat kare advantages ki, to hume jo tall buildings wo offer karti hai, ek spectacular view, wonderful view bahar se, jaise bahut acha lagta hai, uh, jo view milta hai, tall buildings ka offer karti hai, spectacular, wonderful view, remarkable aap bol sakte ho, instead of spectacular, to bahut acha view milta hai, moreover we get open space, hume open space milti, open place, uh, plenty of facilities, like swimming pool, underground parking, workout area, to name a few. In this case, there are many facilities. And from the roof, we can take a view of the city and observe kar sakte everything clearly. We can see observe sakte, okay? watch kar sakte. Besides, in this case, the tall buildings are less noise pollution, kam, least noise pollution. Hota hai, okay? Besides, uh, sorry. As for negative points, agar negative points ki baat karu, people living in these buildings get less chances of encountering with others. This is a kind of isolation according to me. What's more, during the time of earthquake, there is a risk of falling. However, people living in tall buildings, wo unka, unko kam chances milte hai dousro ke saath time spend karne ke. So, because they tall buildings, they have less time spent with their neighbors, neighbors ke street wale logon ke saath kam chances milte hai time spent with their neighbors. Socialization has less uh, time and less chances. Milte aur, this is a kind of isolation according to me. My recording is isolation. Hai. It means that they have lonely feelings. They are alone. They are separate with others. Uh, What's more, अगर आप पुजाल के समय ओके अर्थक्वेक के समय डर होता है टॉल बिल्डिंग का गिरने का डर होता है ओके नाउ सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई आर देयर मेनी टॉल बिल्डिंग्स इन द कंट्रीसाइड द फर्स्ट ऑब्वियस रीजन इज दैट दीस एरियाज हैव लिमिटेड पॉपुलेशन और वाइड लैंड डवेलर्स गेट ओपन लिविंग स्पेसेस एंड दे आर एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी टू लिव इन so there is no point in constructing tall buildings in the countryside. Obvious reason is that there is a lot of population and land is a lot of people get open space for living and they are extremely happy. They are very happy with them and they are very happy with them and satisfied with them and there is no point. So there is no need to construct tall buildings in the countryside. Now third question is why do some people like to live in tall buildings nowadays? As I have aforementioned that skyscrapers building, skyscraper buildings, it means high-rise buildings, tall buildings, provide myriads, it means both sorry, myriads, a lot of benefits, lot, uh, a lot of benefits provide karti hai, jo tall buildings hoti hai. So people opt for, opt for, this is phrasal verb, it means choose, prefer, like karti hai. opt for, this is phrasal verb. People opt for, prefer such buildings to live in. Uh, such types of buildings may rehna, uh, prefer karte. Also, reasonable living cost, jo reasonable living cost hoti hai. And least noise pollution, jo least, uh, kam noise pollution hota hai, attracts people to shift in tall buildings. Just a reasonable living cost. It means living cost kam hoti hai. Okay, reasonable hoti hai. Jada expensive nahi hai. Tall buildings mein rehna. और इसके अलावा लिस्ट नॉइस पोल्यूशन जो होता है ये वाली चीजें भी अट्रैक्ट करती है लोगों को वहां रहने के लिए वहां शिफ्ट कर आ, शिफ्ट करने के लिए टॉल बिल्डिंग्स में नाउ दिस इज ब्रिंग मी टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज डू यू थिंक देयर विल बी मोर टॉल बिल्डिंग्स इन द फ्यूचर यस एज आई सी थिंग्स एज आई सी द थिंग्स इट मींस आई थिंक आई बिलीव इट्स माय बिलीव दैट इन माय ओपिनियन आई बिलीव 
मोर मल्टी स्टोरी बिल्डिंग्स विल बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन द फ्यूचर ज़्यादा मल्टी स्टोरी बिल्डिंग जो टॉल बिल्डिंग्स हैं ज़्यादा कंस्ट्रक्ट होंगी फ्यूचर में इस्पेशली इन मेजर सिटीज़ खासकर मेजर सिटीज़ में बिग सिटीज़ में पॉपुलेशन विल डेफिनेटली ग्रो बिकॉज ऑफ द ट्रेंड ऑफ मूविंग फ्राम रूरल एरियाज टू अर्बन एरियाज इन द कमिंग ईयर्स इसका रीज़न क्या है जैसे पॉपुलेशन डेफिनेटली ग्रो होगी ज़्यादा पॉपुलेशन होगी मेजर सिटीज़ में बिकॉज ऑफ द ट्रेंड जो ट्रेंड है अब चल रहा है मूविंग फ्राम रूरल एरिया से लोग ज़्यादा अर्बन एरियाज में जा रहे हैं तो ऑफकोर्स जो पॉपुलेशन होगी वो ज़्यादा होगी और देर फोर इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड लिविंग स्पेस टू द इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन सो देर फोर इन ऑर्डर टू इस उद्देश्य से इस उद्देश्य से कि लिविंग स्पेस उनको प्रोवाइड की जाए इस उद्देश्य से टू इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन को लिविंग स्पेस प्रोवाइड करने के उद्देश्य से देर वुड बी मोर नीड ऑफ अपार्टमेंट्स सो ज़्यादा अपार्टमेंट्स की ज़्यादा जरूरत होगी ओके सो फ्रेंड्स दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस टॉपिक आई होप यू लाइक माई आंसर्स Thank you, thank you so much for staying me until the last moment. I'll meet you in another video. Till then, take care. Keep watching my videos. Please now hit the like button. Share with the other IELTS students if you really like this topic. It is useful for you. And also subscribe my channel. And also don't forget to leave your lovely comments. Bye bye.